Attention, convicted persons. 57A, number 90744K, and number 075332N. Your sentences have been altered following a case review. Please hand over all equipment to your supervisor and proceed to social control. Repeat. to work? Judging from its shape and diameter, indeed. Five? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. There we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Damaging, misappropriating, or handing said equipment over to third parties constitutes a and is punishable by law. You gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Oh shit, those cellas again. Canister will be filled in 10 days. That's more like it. Can't 
this lousy goddamn cable car go any faster? No one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. There they are. Now we need to get up to the ceiling. about ammo. Canister will be filled in 10 seconds. That's better. Pleasant lights all around, Shayla's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. Major Nichayev. Canister filled. Please eject the canister. You can collect the canister now. Can I get down first? Rejected. Please insert another canister. Maybe next time. Where's the way out? There is a gate below that leads to the elevators. 
Genetic analysis results are considered unofficial and cannot be presented as a valid document. 10% of cases require follow-up analysis a week later. sensitive and anaerobic bacteria friendly substance is kept in a transitional state to be turned into polymer fading data polymer has many useful applications such as helping diagnose malignant tumors identifying internal bleeding Yes, got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking the frustration out on me? Uh, sorry, it's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? That's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Luminopolymer canister connected. The tree, it's glowing. It's beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun. Senior roboticist Alexander Yefremov, please report to dispatch. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I going to turn into a freaking critter if I stay here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. <laughs> in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Yeah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The hot workshop for Thermarium is one of the Babylon complex
Employee number 403267A, convicted of the unauthorized distribution of confidential data, is ordered to report to social control immediately. Look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay, I'll deal with it. stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. the opening. Now, lug this shit to the boiler myself? Remember that all experimental results are the physical and or intellectual property of the Communist Party and may not be appropriated. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? Who's singing? Never heard him before. I have no idea. This 
This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. It could be anything, but the future is vast. How do I get into the pipe? It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Second one's all set. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. The temperature in the hot workshop has been stabilized. Employees may return to their workstations. What a relief. know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. Fading day. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute.
What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacti cereris. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform forests. once the temperature is normalized. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and being a steel worker, even for half ships. That'd make a man of you, I tell you. But look at him. Instead, he's over there with his pretty flowers bitching about the heat. We crack tough, don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. It's too bad how it all ended up. Me, no one ever thought something collected. like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. Dmitry Bagramov, must have been quite a while ago. convicted for slandering At least a few days. party, has officially paid his debt to the motherland. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck and snapped it right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming or dying or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, 
What scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. Why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I oh, mean why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. This has got to be some kind of mistake. Such an option should have foreseen this. You must have. Let's hope that Robo Cougar doesn't wake. So, what will it be, Major? Weapon?
this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. The humans did this. It doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complex. Attention. All staff members who received SIN-21 and SIN-22 notices are to remove... Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff. Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals.
party and is punishable by law. God damn clusterfuck. different polymers over there with different characteristics. We go trace into polymers here, but over there they splice them in. Does that make sense? Don't get too smart, buddy. Or, well, Medicina non capus tal resist, you know? Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, crap. I keep turning my chirp around with my elbow by mistake. I hope they get rid of that function in the next update. It's huge. 
I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now, it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit.
let's get the hell out of here. I hope she's asleep. <laughs>